I've camped in lots of Coleman tents over the past few years and even this Ozark Trail tent and here are my thoughts on both brands. After my rain test, I found that my Coleman Instant Tents, I have both the 10-person and 4-person versions, were able to stay dry for about 10 minutes under heavy rain, after which I noticed that this seemed connecting the tent body to the bathtub flooring would start leaking. As for my Ozark Trail 10-person tent, it was able to stay dry only for about 10 minutes of mostly light rain and some moderate rainfall, not even heavy rain. Both my Coleman and Ozark Trail tents leaked through this inverted seam because somehow it usually doesn't come taped. I also noticed that the fabric of most of my Coleman tents tend to stay dry in light to moderate rain and would only start getting wet after 45 minutes to an hour of super heavy rainfall. However, my Ozark Trail tent's fabric started getting pretty soaked after just 15 minutes of mostly light to moderate rain. So without tons of additional waterproofing, Ozark Trail tents are definitely not meant for rainy weather of any kind, not even in light rain. For features, for a 10-person tent, I would expect the tent to have at least two doors, one on each opposite wall of the tent. And both my Weathermaster 10-person tent and my Coleman 10-person instant tent have two doors each. In fact, one of these doors is even a hinged D-door, which makes going in and out of the tent that much easier. So overall, very user-friendly. In contrast, my Ozark Trail 10-person tent has only one door at the front of the tent, and Ozark Trail doesn't have the super cool hinged door feature that Coleman has. The number of windows and the size of the windows in Ozark Trail tents is also lacking when compared to Coleman tents. All these windows are pretty small which limits ventilation on a hot day. And on top of that, all these windows need to be closed on a rainy day. On the other hand, my Coleman 10-person instant tent has these humongous windows on every wall of the tent, which is great for hot day ventilation. And while my Weathermaster 10-person tent doesn't have these super big windows, two of the windows are these huge angled windows for ventilation on rainy days instead. When I was setting up my Coleman and Ozark Trail tents, I noticed that the pole sleeves of the Ozark Trail tent were super long and snaggy, while Coleman tents tend to have much shorter and much more snag-free pole sleeves. Also, the poles of my Ozark Trail tent were not color-coded, they were just all black, while my Weathermaster 10-person tent had a little bit of color coding like this red band for the middle wall pole. For the inside of the tent, when I was setting up my Ozark Trail room divider, I realized that the divider doesn't even have a zip down the middle for easy access into the other room. My Coleman tents at least had a zip down the middle of the divider. These aren't like big glaring issues or anything, but you know, it's the little things that count sometimes. For quality, the materials used in both Coleman and Ozark Trail tents are about the same, like regular polyethylene flooring and 68D to 75D polyester for the tent body and the rainfly. But the stitching in my Ozark Trail tent is not as great, there were loose threads all over the tent and fairly big holes where the guy lines are connected to the main tent body. My door zipper kept snagging from the outside every single time I opened the door and there was this sort of inconsistent mesh in two places around the tent. As for my Coleman tents, the stitching was generally not too bad. There were less loose threads, the holes in the stitching were smaller, the door zippers were less snaggy, and only one of my Coleman tents came with this weird inconsistent mesh. I've had this Ozark Trail tent for a year and a bit before I noticed that the tent fabric started to degrade and get a little bit sticky. Also, my steel wall poles were showing signs of rust, even though I did my best to dry them before packing them up. On the other hand, I've had some of my Coleman tents for about 3 to 4 years now, and I never noticed any of the tent fabric becoming sticky. And the steel poles of my Weathermaster tent are still holding up fine. I actually even packed up one of my Coleman tents while it was still wet, and when I took it out a few months later, there was no mold or anything on it. While both Coleman and Ozark Trail are highly inexpensive family camping tents, this is where Ozark Trail outshines Coleman. While I paid between 250 to 350 bucks for both my 10-person Coleman tents, I paid only about 100 bucks for this Ozark Trail tent, which is less than half the price of my Coleman tent. In fact, even though this tent is one of the highest rated and most popular Ozark Trail tents, it's still plenty affordable at just over 100 bucks. 
Ozark Trail is basically Walmart's house brand or private brand. And I think the reason Walmart and Coleman are able to keep the prices low is because all these tents are made in China. But just bear in mind that Coleman tents are warranted for one year, while Walmart provides only a six month warranty for their Ozark Trail tents. If this video has been helpful to you so far, I would really appreciate it if you could help me hit that like button. Thank you. So essentially, here's the bottom line. While Ozark Trail tents are one of the least expensive family camping tents on the market, the waterproofing isn't the best, the features, lifespan, and quality of these tents aren't that great. And for Coleman tents, they're a little pricier than Ozark Trail tents, but you get better waterproofing, better features, and a better quality tent all around. Basically, you get what you pay for. I typically prefer Coleman tents because I've been using Coleman products since I was a kid and I've gotten great value for money out of my Coleman tents. But I could still recommend Ozark Show tents if you're on a really tight budget and if you're camping only in perfect weather. In fact, this 10 person Ozark Show tent is actually perfectly functional in fair weather or for backyard camping. It's super spacious, I can't even reach the top of the tent. The setup and pack up is pretty simple, and with a little bit of care, you can get quite a few uses out of this Ozark Trail tent. For a more in-depth review of how this Ozark Trail tent compares against not just Coleman, but core equipment, outdoor products, and Columbia, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.